All right, everybody, let's take a look at creating a histogram in Google Sheets. All right, so you can see I have just some test scores. I just randomly generated these numbers. They go all the way down to 32. Uh, to do this, I think we need to do a little more work. Okay. Now, I don't know, you know, Google Sheets might do an okay job and everything, but let's just take a look at this. So I think we need to figure out the class width. Okay. Because remember when you do a histogram, you, you're doing that off of a frequency distribution table. Well, one thing about Google Sheets is you don't need the frequency distribution table. Uh, it'll kind of do it for you in the background, but it'll want to pick its own class width. But I think if we do our own class width, you know, then it, we can make it look exactly like we want. And there is an option in here to change that. All right. So first, you know, to find the uh, class width, you've got to find the maximum of the data value. So I'm going to do max and that's going to be A2 to A32. And then we need a minimum value. And so that's going to be min, and that's going to be A2 to A32. And yeah, you could select the, the range if you wanted to. That's fine. Uh, the class width, well, remember, that is equal to the maximum value minus the minimum value. And we'll put that in parentheses. And then that is divided by however many uh, classes you want, okay? So I don't know. Let's do, uh, that might be too many. Let's do eight. We can always change it if we want. So that actually tells us the class width is seven. Uh, let's, let's change that maybe to seven. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we'll get eight. Uh, let's try six. There we go. All right, so... As, as you know, with the, and you know, the, there was nothing wrong with getting the seven or the eight or anything like that. Well, well, yeah. Uh, because what, what happens is whenever you get that seven, what you would do is you would remember you round it up to the next whole number. Even though it's a seven, you would round it up to eight. Well, we're here, we got 9.3. And so we're going to have to round that up to 10. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I'm you know, I'm not going to get into all of that. I've got some videos on all that of, you know, finding the class width and more detail and creating the frequency distribution. You can check those out. Well, now that we got this figured out, let's go ahead and let's let's highlight our test scores here. And so then we want to go up here to insert and we want to go to chart and look at this. Excel defaults I mean, not Excel, Google Sheets, it go it defaults to a histogram. All right. So let's kind of, well, let's, let's move this around a little bit. I need to, I'm going to shrink it a little bit so it'll all fit on the screen right here. All right. So here we go. And, and you can see that the class width we have here is, Look at that, it's 12, okay? I guess that's what Google Sheets wanted it to be, was 12 or... Um, so, over here, if I look back behind this, you see my class width is 9.3, so I'm gonna round that up. So we're gonna want our class width to be 10, okay? And I'll show you how to, how to do that. All right, so let's go back here to setup, and you know everything looks good. We're going to use row one as a header. Okay, uh, let's see. Use column one as labels. What happens if we don't do that? Well, nothing. Okay, we don't. That's this is the only column we have. You would you would probably want to check this if you had two columns. You'd want to use one of the columns as a label. So I guess we can just leave it like this. Uh, we. 
and so you know that's pretty much everything here we can we could actually select a different chart if we wanted to but you know uh, Google Sheets goes it'll go ahead and su and suggest something for you all right so let's come over here to chart style uh, chart style you can actually come in here and you can change the background color uh, chart border uh, see you got put that little like a fluorescent green there uh, you know you can do whatever you want border color uh, you can change your font all that stuff you can maximize that just fills it up I don't think that looks very good all right so now let's go here to histogram so uh, histogram let's see well show item dividers that that just puts some more lines on there I think it kind of clutters it up a little bit uh, now here's what I was talking about the bucket size so remember we chose we wanted six classes and so our class width ended up being 10 so you can come here and you can change this width to 10 and you see here you go you've got your one two three four five six items okay and if you remember earlier we did what we uh we got seven when we wanted eight of them so for the seven we would actually we our class width when we got the seven that means our class width is eight and you notice there's no eight here but you, if there's not you just come in here and you can change it to whatever you want change it to eight and there's your one two three four five six seven and and there's your uh, number of classes right there okay so let's just change it back to the ten and so that's what that that's for and then you know you got your uh, title histogram of test scores well if we wanted to we could we could change this to just test scores. Uh, I can change the font color. Let's let's do it a black instead of that light gray color. So that's the chart title, uh, and then we can change the horizontal axis. You see, it's got test scores. You you can name it whatever you want. Let's change that to black. Didn't really make a lot of difference. And then the horizontal, I mean the vertical axis, that's where it doesn't have one. Okay, it's graded out. Well, let's grade all this out. Uh, but I mean, you can add something, you know, test scores. And then you can, you know, you can come over here and change the font, whatever you want. Uh, series, that just... That's going to give us the color of the bars. Uh, I think what they had look, looked all right. That little blue there. Uh, legend. Uh, we can put a. We can see what a. We can see what it would do. Uh, auto. Let's put it on the right. See, I don't. I don't like that. I think it looks better without the legend. And then you can do the font and everything horizontal axis uh, that is uh, like say if we change this to white that just that changes these numbers here okay that works with that to do this you have to do it up here on uh, chart and axis titles that's where you can change this and this but the the horizontal and vertical axis like the numbers how they look and everything you're going to change those down here and you know you can set your minimum and maximum value uh, see like if we change this from 0 to say uh, 50 that's what it's gonna look like well I guess we wouldn't do 50 we would have to do maybe 110 that would get everything and so you would have something like that okay but I, I think it looks better you know like this filling up the entire well not the entire but most of the width there and then the vertical axis that's the same thing see we can we can change the text color there it, it'll change the numbers uh, do a log scale and that just scales it different the, the vertical axis 
Uh, and we can change the minimum and maximum value there as well. And then you got grid lines. You can put the grid lines, you know, between and all that stuff. So, you know, that's that's really about it. But that's how you do it. And I think that's the, the important thing is, you know, doing that class with yourself and, you know, how many you want. I mean, Google Sheets will do it, but, you know, it may not be what you want, but that's how you would go about changing it. And so there's your histogram. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope the video helped. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and see you later.